second Indian model that I'm very excited to ride, and this is the Indian Chief, and this is the Dark Horse Edition. <laughs> now the bike itself, when you look at it, you're like, this is an interesting looking bike, isn't it? I mean, it's big, it's bold, it's all blacked and murdered out, which is something I enjoy on a bike. But it's got some interesting fairings and different things like that, doesn't it? Pretty gnarly looking. I gotta say though, this bike is very deceptive because it looks like a big huge bike. It looks like it'd be very hard to manage, possibly heavy, not handling well. <laughs> you know, this bike is, uh, this bike does not live up to those thoughts though. It is a cruiser for sure, very comfortable seat, lots of room and lots of accessories you can do. But this bike right here, I don't wanna hate on Harleys, but I think this is a Harley killer. Once you ride one of these bikes, you'll understand why. Why don't we take it for a ride? First things first, key fob ignition. So, you, you know, the key fob's in the back. I've got a push button to start, single gauge. Uh, very simple, very, very simple indeed. So let's pull the clutch in and get this baby started. On it, it feels like American muscle. It's got the shake and the shimmy, but it's very comfortable. The seat's very comfortable. The levers flat give you a nice amount of leverage, and uh, it's just it's just all out there. Now there you do have your your foot, I would say decks if you will, <laughs> and the shifter is a single peg. So let's turn around and go. So when riding this bike initially. You know, you feel your hands on the handlebars. It feels like you're steering. It almost feels like you're riding a chariot. Yeah. So it is written, so it shall be done, Ben-Hur. All right, we're on a rolling start. Visor down, let's see what this thing can do. Oh man, this thing is smooth. Very smooth indeed. I literally feel like I'm steering a chariot. And I like it. This bike is huge, but it's very deceptive because of the fact that it's so low to the ground. Sitting here like this on this bike, just the feel, it's very, very easy to control. Very easy to control, see? I have no problem twitching this bike around. It does not feel heavy. And you gotta love the growl this thing has. I mean, it wants to go. It really does. Wow. So, I'm not a cruiser guy, I gotta say, I'm not one that's super keen on the big honking motorcycles, right? But what I have come to very much enjoy about this bike is the fact that it does not feel like a cruiser. It does not feel like it is a big chunk of iron. And Indian has mastered that because of the fact that the bike is so easy to ride and it feels light and makes it fun to ride very much so here we go yes yeah looks like we're caught up in a a ride of sorts if you look on my other review you'll see the review on the FDR 1200 that my friend is riding with me. Of course, we just swapped bikes. I'm on this, the Indian Dark Horse now. But what a pleasure. I mean, you can just mash through the gears on this, no problem. And comfortable, oh, I feel like I'm sitting in a recliner just enjoying the, the show because you can lean back 
it feels comfortable. Suspension is buttery smooth. And it doesn't have the feel that I'm driving a big truck. It does, in a way, I feel like I'm sitting in a big diesel pickup truck with the stacks on the side, but this bike does not feel that way when riding. It looks big, mean, but it doesn't feel that way when you're riding it. Grips on the handlebars, very thick, very commanding, a little a little thicker than I would I would normally feel. But again, it feels like I'm riding a horse, a chariot. Get up. You know, maybe that's what they were going after. Oh, it's a pleasure. I think this might be a, a future purchase. If I go cruiser, this might be something that I have to seriously think about. So we got a little hill right here. Oh. The torque on this bike is amazing. 111 cubic inches. I mean, you can you can you can hear it and feel it, and fr the, all factory as well. I mean, I can't imagine putting some aftermarket pipes on this thing. How amazing it would sound. This feels great. It really does. So I had the privilege of riding a few other bikes from the Indian line as well. Comparing it, comparing this bike to the other ones, especially the one that I'm I'm tailing right now, uh, this bike is, is kind of like the older, more mature brother of the bike in front of us. This bike has a good amount of power on the reserve, ready to go. I mean, you just have to twist the throttle. And the suspension on this bike is I mean, it's just amazing. It's really, really good. For being a big bike, you would expect this to be a little less handleable, but it's just not the case, the geometry on the bike. Now, I talked to one of the gentlemen from Indian about it. I said, when I rode this bike, it, to me, it feels very light in the hand. It does not feel like I'm riding a Road King or an Ultra Glide or some big old honking American bike. How how, and why is that? Why? why? And the, the answer is, is that Indian took a lot of time in the engineering of this bike, the geometry of the bike, to make it feel light. So it's low slung to the ground. It's raked out. The frame is raked out quite a, quite a distance. It allows the bike really to feel more like a smaller lighter bike so again i i'm very very impressed with this bike i'm not getting paid for this review here this is a brutally honest review there are a few things i am not particularly keen about this bike but um they're not anything that would cause me to not want to purchase one of these for instance the suspension on this bike is good but when you go over bumps like good bumps and of course in new england we have a lot of really harsh roads the bike does soak it up, but it rattles pretty good from the front end. Now this is a demo bike, so this thing has been tortured its entire life. So perhaps uh, some adjustment on that might be in order. But to be honest, I, I don't really have any super negative issues about this bike that, that come to mind. I like the geometry of the controls. I like the fact that everything's very simple and it's not it's not overly uh, sophisticated or difficult to figure out what's going on. The torque curve on the motor is amazing. I mean, if that doesn't do it for you, you might want to check your pulse. I think if you put a windshield on this bike, and I'm not sure if the seat's adjustable, but if I could adjust the seat back a little bit, this bike you could easily drive all day on it and not have any problem it again it does feel similar to sitting on a lounge chair because you're you're leaning back a little bit the handlebars are pulled back a little bit 
and it's just very comfortable. Again, comparing this to its younger, somewhat rebellious stepchild up in front of us, the FTR 1200 the Indians got out now, that bike you're sitting in the launch position, you're forward, and there's no room to move on that bike. This bike you can stretch right out, very comfortable foot pegs, a very large, generous rear brake pedal. The shifter is within toe reach as well, very easy. Everything very much thought out well on this bike. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really impressed with Indian. Now before doing these demo rides, I had not really ridden an Indian or a Victory for that matter. And now that I've had the chance to, my, my opinion is dramatically changed dramatically changed. Now, if I want to do a comparison to another cruiser type bike, which may elicit some hatred, I would compare this maybe over to a Road King. I rode a Road King Special. I tried to get the closest bike to this bike as possible. Brutally honest here, folks. I'm not, I'm not being paid to, to say one thing or another here. Brutally honest though, this bike beat the Road King hands down. Not only in fit and finish, but the feel of the bike. I mean, being able to flick this bike around on a flickability scale of one to 10, I'd give this bike an eight. I mean, it is just right there. But the price point on this bike compared to where a Road King is, is a lot different. So you can get a lot more bike for your money. The reliability and service network of Indian, of course, Polaris owns them. It's a big company. It's not going to fail, right? And the fact that the bike is just so buttery smooth and you still get the American growl and the torque. I mean, the torque is there with the good ride quality. If you're thinking about buying a cruiser, please go go take a test drive on one of these. I don't, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I really don't. Now the Chieftain, the next model up from this, and really their flagship model has the full fairing and it's got like a TV screen here. So you've got your GPS and you've got everything else you'd have on some of the more expensive Harley models as well. So, you know, Indians, Indians doing a good job at, at keeping a, a wide range to satisfy all the different demographics out there. I'm in love with the FTR 1200 that's in front of us. After driving it, the power is just amazing. But I definitely would not want to take that bike on a long road trip. In fact, I think anything over an hour on that bike might be a little tough on my lower back because of the riding position and the fact that you're sitting in the launch position immediately. That's That can be a little bit discouraging. I also rode the, the Scout and I've got a review on my video about that as well, video channel here. And the Scout was really nice, but definitely not a a bike that you'd want to spend an, an, a long extended ride on either. Uh, so here's a rather tight corner. And again, the bike has no problem navigating. And when you look at the bike standing off of it, you're looking at it and it looks like a school bus. I mean, it's huge. But it definitely doesn't feel like that. Its mannerisms are totally different. I would say it's a gentle giant. That'd be a good way to put it. Aww. All right. Yeah, very nice. Here's a bump. As you can see, it doesn't even feel like you went over a big lump in the road. It's it's not a, not a problem. The bike is designed to be give that comfortable ride. But again, this is the Dark Horse Edition. Again, a little bit of on the specs. It's got different ride modes. Uh, it's got cruise control, keyless ignition. It does like to have uh, premium fuel, 91 octane. I did notice that as well. We'll pull over up here and do a walk around so it'll give you a little bit more, a little bit more of a feel for the bike. But you can feel this bike has just got nards of power. So let's talk about this, this bike we just drove. 111 cubic inches, a behemoth of a bike weighing at 730 plus pounds. So this bike is massive. Again, you can see just from the pictures how big it is. But driving this bike does not feel like you're driving 
such a large bike. As you can tell from my comments, very, very, very easy to maneuver around. And actually really a joy to ride. Out of all the bikes that I've test drove here, if I were to plunk down some change right now on a new bike, this would be it. Just because of the way it looks, the way it feels, the way it sounds, and the way it handles, and the price point on it, just make it unbelievable. Uh, they don't list the horsepower settings for this bike in very apparent areas, but it does say that it has 119 foot-pounds of torque, and that is what you can feel as soon as you crack the throttle. So again, all in all, this Indian motorcycle, fantastic. Would I recommend it? Yes. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would I rate this bike? I would definitely give this bike a solid 8.5. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've been on one of these bikes and what your impression was. I'd be interested to hear. Please ride safe out there. And remember, as Bill and Ted say, party on, dudes. Excellent!